So welcome. Let's take a look at the PMP certification or more specifically the PMBOK 7th edition, which is the latest upcoming edition, right? So if you're looking to get your PMP certification, which is one of the most important resources to get ready for the PMP exam, is the PMBOK edition, whether it's 6th edition, which is the previous one, or the 7th edition, which is upcoming and the latest version of the PMBOK. And of course, the exam will follow. So this is a guide for PMP and other certifications the Project Management Institute or the PMI provides or conducts those training. So the PMBOK is actually changing, right? So it was mainly focusing on waterfall project management techniques earlier. However, with the fast pace of technology ever changing, competition is really driving force, right? Life cycles are shorter in terms of product and the project can change over time, it's becoming very dynamic. So the progress of the project is rapidly changing. So conventional project management entails, it, it doesn't really welcome right the rapid changes. That is why the agile methods and the approaches emerged a couple of decades ago. And these agile frameworks, right, be adapted by many organizations and they still are in progress, right, especially within the IT and software industry. The PMP is the most reputable project management certification all across the goal with nearly 1 million PMP certified professionals. So PMBOK is the backbone of the PMP certification exam content itself. So since the trends are changing, right? So the actual study guides or the actual underlying fundamental also must change. So the PMBOK reflects the project management methodologies, practices and processes being successfully used across industries and verticals across the world. So every few years, PMI does a study to understand how the project manager's role is evolving. So PMBOK's seventh version moves away from process-oriented approach to principle-oriented approach. One could even say outcome-oriented approach, right? That's supporting any type of project delivery. Yes, you guessed it right. The word principles, you know, is, is basically the agile paradigm, right? So, say if the thinking from PMBOX comes now has shifted to, it has become broader. So there are other changes in shift in scope to address project delivery in addition to project management. The whole idea seems to be more action focused, okay, or practitioner friendly. Also, the focus is on project outcomes on just the project deliverables. You could say that PMP uh, scope is not widened just to include the project management approaches, but also focuses on you know, widen, widening itself to include outcomes. The fundamental aspects right, within the seventh edition are, is there a delivery system, right? The principles, you have the, you know, the value delivery system, for example, right? The holistic system from which the project delivered business value. Business value itself is conceived by Peter Drucker, right? Tangible or intangible benefits received by customers and employees and partners of the business as well. And projects are the main individuals that deliver business value by achieving these objectives set forth by the organization. The seventh edition for project management, right? The PMBOK seventh, shows how a good strategy leads to intended business value in any organization. It's done through defining organizational strategies that help identify business objectives, which then turn into actionable portfolios that turn into projects which produce deliverables and increase capabilities of the organization, producing tangible or intangible outcomes, right? That's really creating benefits to the customer or end users, right? Which turns into business value produced by the organization itself. The system that enables this flow in a smooth and predictable manner, right, for any organization, is really made possible by efficient propagation of information and feedback through the predefined channels. So value delivery system comprises of portfolios, programs, projects, and then operations, right? And governance system as well to enable workflow and support decision-making capabilities. Project delivery principles, on the other hand, right, are the ones that really the project management or it guides the people involved within the project delivery. No, we're not really talking about management, but delivery. So they can apply their efforts on stronger project outcomes. The 12 principle defined within a standard, right? Within the project standard is respectful, diligent, stewardship, right? These are the seventh edition, some of these. Uh, maybe stakeholders or take stakeholders to understand their interests and needs. Focus on value, right? And recognize and respond to systems interactions. Influence, for example, or others. Learn, right? 
delivery approach based on context right, itself, right? Quality in two processes and result. So less complexity using knowledge and experience and learning. So less opportunities to, you know, make mistakes, be more resilient, right? Have the change and envision the future state and also make a chart of all of these changes. So these are some of the principles. So in a nutshell, I'm going to provide a chart so you can see a comparison of the 6th edition versus the Pimbox 7th edition. And you'll notice a certain subtle changes that we've talked about are also listed. The whole idea is the fact that 7th edition is becoming more broader, right, that I talked about earlier. So I hope this helps. Kind of take a look at this chart go through some of these areas that you see on your screen. If you have any questions, certainly post in the discussion area. I'll be happy to help. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you're looking for the latest uh, tutorials on the latest technologies, latest information, so that you can keep growing your skill set as you grow into your own passion. With this, let's move to the next lesson.